Hey YouTube, this is Tom at TM Aquatics and I hope you're all doing great. Today is an absolutely beautiful day here in Minnesota, but it's also an exciting day. I'm expecting some new fish to be delivered via FedEx at any minute, and I'm super excited about these fish. It's a fish that I've never seen before, and I didn't even know they existed until about a week and a half ago. Now I know what some of you might be thinking or asking, another pleco? Well, it's not a pleco, but to find out, you're going to have to stick around and watch this video. And look what just delivered. The fish are here. Thank you, FedEx. Alright, YouTube, we have the box of fish down here in the fish room. We're all set up to record it all on the iPad back here. The box of fish is back on my work table. We need to get these fish unpacked, check for any DOAs, and start acclimatizing them to the quarantine tank. So let's get started. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and open up this box of fish. And there are a total of 14. And again, this is a fish that I've never seen before. And I didn't even know they existed until about a week and a half ago. And in my opinion, when you see something that you think is interesting and you see it for the first time and you have an opportunity to buy it, buy it. Because you may never know when the next time will be that you see these fish or have an opportunity to pick some up. Oh my gosh. And they are big. So I don't know if y'all can see that. They are all alive and doing well. So let me get a count here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this bag. Let me get these out and then I will tell you what they are. Bag number two, seven more for a total of 14, and they are a pretty decent size fish for the type they are. So let me just check the iPad, make sure that we're uh, focused down here on the fish so you guys can see them. All right, so what we have here is two bags of some pretty decent sized Tetras. And these are a pretty rare Tetra. You don't see them in the hobby very often, if ever. I've been in the hobby for 30 years. I've never seen this fish. I've never even heard of this fish until about a week and a half ago when my brother, who actually has a fish room as well, he picked some of these up and uh, directed me to his source. And uh, I picked up 14. Now, I've never purchased Tetras with the intent on breeding. Tetras have always been just a dither fish in my fish tanks and my fish room. But this here is different. I do plan to uh, place a lot of priority and focus on actually breeding this Tetra here because I want to make it available to others and eventually sell them on the Get Gills website. So these get pretty big. They get about two and a quarter inch. These get pretty big size for a Tetra. You know, probably not as big as a Congo Tetra, but definitely bigger than things like the Glow Light and the Silver Tip Tetras, your Neons, your Cardinals, etc. These are Hemogrammas. Corulius, and uh, I've only seen them online and there's all, there's very little information online first of all let me just say that but on aquarium gla glasser aquarium glosser here's a picture of what these fish look like once they are uh, you know in breeding condition and reaching uh, adult you know sexual maturity the top one is the male and they are just absolutely on fire when they're conditioned for spawning the bottom one is a female and the uh, person or the, the people that I bought these from call them like the Carulean pink tetra, something like that. Because both the male and the female will kind of look like this with that pink neon stripe down the side of their body. But when the males get conditioned for spawning, they fire up to this bright, bright ruby red with that red laser streak down the side of their, their body or that red neon stripe. And they are just an absolutely stunning tetra. So when I saw these and my brother, you know, showed me what they were, I had to have some of these. And I picked up the last of what the uh, seller had available. So, um, you know, hopefully we can, uh, we can get these things spawning eventually and uh, make them available for everybody else. So anyways, we've got to get them in the quarantined tank, get them acclimated, get them out of these bags. And um, yeah, so let's get going. All right, YouTube, we have the fish being temperature acclimated to the quarantine tank. 
I did have to remove my eight L494 Plecos that I picked up from Eric Bodrock. They've completed their quarantine process and they have now been moved out into the 75 gallon tank out in the rec room. Uh, I don't want to turn the lights on. These fish are stressed out the way it is. It's always a good idea to uh, keep them in subdued lighting or keep the lights off when you're acclimating fish that just came out of a uh, shipping container. And uh, we'll have plenty of time to get some uh, proper video of them with lights on here for YouTube. Um, but right now is not that time. So we need to just acclimate these to their uh, quarantine tank. I'm not sure which tank they're gonna go into once quarantine is completed. I might move them out to the 75 gallon tank out in the rec room. That's kind of the way I'm leaning. The other tank I'm thinking about is over here. I'm thinking about maybe this uh, 75 gallon tank here. This is my L397 tank. I already have a bunch of Tetras in here. And what I like about this tank is it's on an automatic water changer, automatic drip system. So I'm constantly getting, uh, each day it's getting, you know, 10, 15 gallons of fresh, pure RO water, which helps keeps this tank extremely soft. And these new Tetras come out of the lower Orinoco River Basin. And uh, they come out of waters that's extremely soft and actually extremely acidic or a lot more acidic than my water here in my fish room. But uh, in any event, they might end up in this tank. They might end up out in the rec room with the L494s. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, for those that watch my channel because of plecos, don't worry. My focus here in the fish room is still primarily on plecos. It's just when you have tanks, the plecos, they're all hanging out down here at the bottom. Why not take advantage of the mid and upper water column like I did here with this 75 gallon tank? And that's what I'm trying to do is just take advantage and use the water and the fish tanks uh, to their full capacity. And um, I just thought these new Tetras that I picked up were uh, absolutely amazing fish. Something new, something different, so I wanted to try them. So they may end up down here with this uh, smaller group or this group of smaller Tetras. I don't know, they may end up out in the rec room. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, YouTube, I have the new Tetras fully acclimated and in the 29 gallon quarantine tank. Their colors are still very washed out, but keep in mind they've only been here for a couple of hours and uh, they've just spent the last 24 hours being, you know, shoved in a dark black box, being tossed around and uh, traveling from the importer up to Indianapolis, up to Minnesota here. So, you know, I do expect it to be a few days before their color really starts to come back. But also keep in mind these fish just a month ago were in their natural native habitat down in the lower uh, Orinoco River Basin down in South America. You know, they were in their natural water parameters, which is a very low pH. They're in a 5 to 5.5 pH, no measurable KH or GH. And let me tell you, that just is not the same type of water I have here at TM Aquatics. So it's going to take them a little bit of time to, to really fully acclimate to their environment, the water parameters, all of that. There's no sticks or branches or bogwood or vegetation in this quarantine tank. So again, you know, it's going to be a little stressful on them for a few days here. You know, but you can see that pink neon line going down the mid side of their body on all the fish. But when they come into breeding and uh, the, the males get conditioned for breeding, they're going to turn a bright fire ruby red and have a bright red neon laser streak right down the side of their body and they're going to look spectacular. What I also like about these tetras is they're a much larger tetra. You know, they look pretty similar to some of the other tetras you find every day at the LFS, but let me tell you, these are two inch fish. These are not the same size of most of your tetras that you're going to find at your fish stores. These are two inches and they're still not done growing. They're going to get about 2.3 inches. But um, what I also like is they're not, this, they're not fish that you see every day. I didn't even know about these fish until a week and a half ago. And that's one thing that really keeps me interested in this hobby is always trying something new that not everyone else has. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and end this video. I appreciate everybody stopping by. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. Hit the subscribe button on your way out. And like always, until the next one, we'll catch you all later.